I honestly believe music, it just, it just crosses all boundaries. It just doesn't matter about where you're from, how old you are. Aboriginal culture is a culture based on song. You know, you travel from one part of the country to the other, you sing a jowie. The boundaries of the land are sung in song. The stories are remembered in a song cycle. And for these kids, connecting everybody together with music, it's a great thing that, you know, we don't know what they've, what they've experienced or we can't even begin to imagine with some of them. So you just do music, it gets them in, and then we look at schoolwork and attendance, and that's, and that's what Bundaroo Music Academy is about. I think it's a pretty standard thing to say that if you're interested in something, you will make sure you get there because you want it, whatever it is. I was present at a few of those midday sessions when young people came into the studio and just the interest those young kids have with rhythm and music. It was awesome to just watch them beating the drums in a way that you know if they keep going, they'll get better and better. Music was always a big part of my life from going to church with my father as a young boy. Never really picked it up until I met young Owen Pat. While everyone else was learning how to drink and do drugs, we sort of kept to ourselves and played music. We were trying to find a better way. Young Owen, my yellow. After I'd lost him though, I felt like the whole world was sort of against me. And I turned to anything I could get my hands on that would sort of numb the pain. My father approached me and said, this is a music academy starting up in the Roman Primary School and I need to actually man up, take responsibility of what I'm doing and now start to make a difference, not only for myself, but then to become a leader. I feel, I strongly feel, see, if you dream big, you can give big. They want to make sure that Boondra is here for them every day and even though some people might change, the ideas behind and the values within Boondra Music Academy will continue on. It's been such a success story so far. We, as my generation, have learned now that to live in this society, we must walk in two worlds. We must learn to adapt to be white man way in that world. But then as soon as we get home, doing what our old people have done for 45,000 years, going out bush, hunting, <laughs> singing law and ceremony songs, making artifacts, that is the key to the survival of our Aboriginal people. And that's the walking in two worlds. We can have all the different programs, all the different whiz-bang devices, but at the heart is finding that connection. Boondura Music Academy excels at that. I have no doubt that they are going to have a meaningful impact on the way we operate at Rowan District High School and the educational achievement by all students passing through our school. Boondura is a very, very positive uh, stepping stone, not only for Kendall, but the other people that are around in the community, but, but also for the primary school. We need to work together. We don't, we don't want to segregate, we just want to have everyone in there together learning and working together. And when you do that it's really harmonious and it's, it's actually quite joyful and there's a lot of love that happens. That's, um, that's beautiful. <laughs>